Hey. So, we're going to go ahead and take a look at um, kind of setting up some UVs. So, let's go ahead and start by creating a simple cube. Uh, this will sort of demonstrate the basics. Now, um, go ahead and just click cube on polygons and make surface. Hit 5 to give you the shaded. And what I'm looking at now is um, you know, alt, left click, move around obviously. Uh, this right here is just a simple object. We're going to go up to Windows and we will open the rendering editor and hypershade to get a look at what we have and we also want to open up the UV texture editor and this will show us the UVs themselves. Now this is basically how we take a 3D object and we can flatten it and then we can do whatever to it, right? So it's important to understand this concept. Um, now because this is a, a simple primitive cube it's going to already have a shape to it um, and I'll talk more about setting up specific sort of shapes uh, and more about uh, UV specific shapes later. So for now just look at it as primitive and here's what we have. Um, now right off the bat we're not really using up all of the space here that we could because we want to use this whole square. This gray square right here uh, is the max of everything. Like it's how much um, resolution we can get. So you want to try and be as efficient as possible because let's say that I save this out as a 1024 by 1024. It's square so we get even sizes, right? So 1024 by 1024 and my output's at 72 DPI. So that's not like a lot to work with. It's enough-ish and you can save other things back in with higher resolution but you're kind of with this sort of uh, standard. That's why they kind of go up by like 1024 and then 2048 and get sort of higher levels. So uh, let's go ahead and try to make this as efficient as possible. Now because this is a box um, there would be a better way to, to UV this uh, but for now let's just take a look at the UV editor. I'm gonna go ahead and click on the UV editor and go to edge. So if I select all of these edges you'll see that now see all of my box has kind of been selected there's pieces selected around the corners here alright um, and I want to select all these edges in between one another and then go up here to this little separate UVs a little scissor tool I'm gonna click that alright and what that does is it'll cut all of these into their own little sort of separate UV sets so if I now grab UV and I can I have a couple options here I like this way I like to select the UV and then go to shell that's I hold down control and then I hold down right click on the mouse and I go up to shell it's just like uh, um, sort of selecting a lot of things like here I can select UV if I hold down the right click well control plus right click will give me some more options and I want to go to shell and you'll notice now that it kind of selects all of this box now if you look at it this box is literally the bottom face of this box see it's selected if I select it here it'll select there and if I select here this one for example is the back side of the box right so that's just how it's spreading out these were connected alright um, and you can kinda of see I can kinda of go on down the list so let's say I select this one this uh, let's go with uh, all three of these then you can see how essentially that was the back, the top, and the front of the box. And then of course this would be the side, right? And this is the other side. See, so you can get the get the idea. This right here is the left side, and this is the right side, and then this is the front of it, this is the top of it, and then this is the back, and this was the bottom, right? So now um, with a box, you know, we might have a number of different ways we want to do things, but in this case, to maximize UVs, uh, as, long as, as, as long as I'm putting the same kind of shader on all of these, let's just go ahead and grab 
all my V's and I'm just gonna go ahead and I'm just gonna size them up like this. I'm gonna grab these and you can grab all these just by holding down uh, the standard selection tools for Maya so um, when I grab multiples of course control and shift will grab as many as I want and kinda drag these on out probably best to do it like this oh no just you uh, now there's a cool tool up here you can use this little arrow key all these if I hit the ones that point in the direction it'll align them so I want them to align all the way to the right so this arrow is pointing to the right bam I got these two selected and it goes to the rightmost point same here they should be fine though I can grab these I don't want these all right I go down like this and there you go I have one of those boxes set up all right and let's go ahead and practice that again uh, I'm going to set these on up here go ahead and drag these on over here drag these on down here and I can align these all up in a moment there's also another way you could grab them to shell and you could sort of just center it and then you could just upsize it like that that works pretty nicely so then I could well I might as well at that point then take them all right and set them all in the middle here right and then go ahead and select all of them and then oops make sure to hold it down so they all go up hold down the left click so they all go up at the same time there you go now they're all sitting here right so I'll just go through this process where I select these two remember uh, hotkeys uh, W is the move E is rotate Q or I mean R is scale uh, these are the same keys we've been over them already um, in earlier tutorials but this tutorial there you go just keep it in mind so let's go ahead and offset them go back over here and offset them go up top and offset them up go on down select all of them down so offset them down bam they're all exactly the same all right um, and there's a way to test that is if we go back to our hyper shade now we'll go ahead and make a, a little Lambert and hold down right button and rename I'm just renaming this I want it to be called like a test shader all right so there's my little test shader and I'll go ahead and select on the color and I'm just gonna give it a checker there are better ones on the internet that you can get a hold of we'll talk more about that later but the checker one works nicely so now if I select my object and the box and I right click on my test shader I can assign the material selection to it I can hit six on the keyboard and see my checkers and note how they are all there's F key they are all pretty much nicely square so you know that they've all kind of laid out fairly decently and that means that they're not gonna stretch not gonna get any weird stretching textures or anything you've got a nice little even setup uh, we can go back to my UV editor I can go up to polygons now oh notice that the uh, the texture does show up now in my UV texture editor you can control that by kinda dimming the image or you could even uh, turn it turn it off Little, these little this little texture button will do it Dim, display image on off so you can kinda dim it so that you can still see your lines sometimes they get really hard to see um, I'm gonna go ahead just double check okay good alright so object mode I'll select my object make sure to select this object as it wants to know which one you want to export. So we'll go to polygons and I go all the way down to UV snapshots, it's the very last. And when I hit UV snapshot, I'm going to get a whole little document set up here. And right now it's saying, well, where do you want to take it? My pro Maya projects or what? Well, uh, I set for 2048, that's good. JPEG is fine. Um, PNG is better. PNG is much better. So let's select PNG. Uh, same UV range, okay. 
Uh, now when you hit browse, you should automatically, if you've set your project, I didn't set a project for this, I'm going to default projects right now, but if you set your project, it will go here. This is an example of wanting to learn how to set your project properly so that everything gets put in the proper folders. So um, that's okay, I'm going to go with um, uh, just, just images is fine, and from tool settings is fine, and you can name it now, whatever, and I'm just going to call it test box. Um, texture and uh, UV. I like to put UVs on them so I know that it's a UV test texture because um, you're going to kind of dispose of this eventually anyway. You don't need the UVs but you want them initially. So let's go ahead and hit save there and it'll save it out.